So James Goldstein, uh, oh, born in uh, born in Los Angeles. No, I was born in Milwaukee. I grew up in Milwaukee. Came to California when I was 18. And uh, when 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 did the the love of basketball come about? I started going to games when I was 10 years old. And uh, at that time, nobody cared about professional basketball. There would be crowds of 2,000 people at a game, but I was on top of it. And uh, I knew that professional basketball was where it was at. I didn't care about college basketball then, and I still don't. And. Uh, I've always had a love for the NBA. Now, did you play uh, basketball as a, as a child? I played basketball in high school. I was a pretty good outside shooter. Uh, but uh, never was good enough to make my college team. And, uh, so I just became a fan. spectator. Super fan. Now, uh, you know, there's a lot of talk about Jack Nicholson being this great NBA fan, but I just want to put it to rest that uh, Mr. James Goldstein is, is the ultimate NBA super fan. Because not only does he go to Clippers and, and Lakers games, but he travels all over the country to, to see games, especially during the playoffs. How many, uh, how many NBA playoff games did you see this year? Well, this year, because the series were so short, there were so many sweeps, I didn't get to see as many games as I would like to. Uh, so far... Uh, I've seen 29 playoff games this year, and I'm expecting to see seven more in the finals. Now, you have uh, you have friendships with with owners uh, of different different NBA teams. Is, do you work out a deal where you have you have floor seats at, at Staples Center? Do you well, uh, they do wherever you swap? I go, I I sit on the, the floor on court side. I have friends around the league that are fans. Some some. In some cases, the owners set me up with good seats. It's different in every city. Uh, but because I do it regularly every year, I've created a network of ticket sources for myself. Now, you're not necessarily a fan of one team. You're, you're a fan of the NBA. Is there is there certain players that, that are your favorites right now? Uh, yeah, the certain players, but uh, I've got so many friends around the league, and uh, you know, between liking certain styles and like, liking certain players because they're friends of mine, I've got a lot of favorite players. Now, if you could put, put together the Goldie All-Star team, top five starting starting uh, lineup, who, who, would, uh, who would you have in there? Well, I don't really have any... Uh, unique ideas on that subject for this season because it was pretty unanimous as to who was selected to the first team and uh, so there's not a lot of controversy right now as to the top five. How about all-time favorite favorite player? All-time, I, I don't like to do that. <laughs> that's, that's too difficult, too many different eras, too many different styles. And uh, I like Pistol Pete. Well, he was a great offensive player. <clears throat> they toned down his act during his pro days, but he never played any defense. And uh, I think in today's game, he would have suffered from that. Now, you're you're known also for for being a fashionista and uh, traveling all over the globe for for uh, fashion shows and mixing that with basketball. Which is your favorite uh, uniform? Well, I get a big thrill at some of the top fashion shows in Paris and Milan. Uh, and it's sort of like going to a playoff game. But <clears throat> for something that I do eight months a year, which is what I do for basketball, I don't think I could maintain that for fashion shows. Uh, fashion shows are, are good from time to time, but basketball is really where it's at. A little, little more exciting in a different way. For a long-term experience it's basketball, but for a week at a, at a fashion week in Paris 
I mean, that's pretty incredible. Now, who are some of your favorite designers right now? John Galliano is certainly right at the top. Uh, right now, for women's clothes, I think Balmain has the most exciting thing going on. I've always liked uh, John Paul Galliano. Uh, John Paul Gautier, I should say. And uh, I'm buying a lot of clothes from Gucci right now. So those are some of my favorites. How about shoes? Are you, are you a big fan of shoes? I like uh, boots. I like the shoes that are going on for women right now with the very high heels. Uh, and uh, I'm certainly into shoes, no question about it. Are you, uh, there's, there's a guest house, is that just going to be for your clothes or? Well, this is more, much more than a guest house. This is going to be uh, my future personal nightclub with a tennis court on top, as well as uh, a screening room, a huge uh, dining area for parties, uh, and my own office and uh, a guest house, but the guest house will be the last thing done. And how long have you lived in this house? I've lived here over 30 years. 30 years. And it's been a lifelong project for me. I don't expect to uh, ever have it finished, and eventually it's going to be a museum. All right, final question. Who, 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 are, you, who are you picking for the, for the finals? I have to go with Boston. The Lakers haven't faced that kind of defense for a long time. Thank you, Goldie. Okay. Awesome.